Hey everybody, welcome to a first look of Sundog 4. So the first thing that you can see is we have a new user interface. We have new colors and we have some mysterious new buttons like actions and so on. So let's take a look now. The ability to select time signatures has been requested for many years. Now it's finally available in Sunlock 4. If you click here, you can choose between different time signatures. Let's see what happens when we select 3-4. We now have a song with 4 bars and a 3-4 time signature. As you can see, 1-2-3-4 bars and each bar has 1-2-3 beats. We now need to make sure that the pattern lengths are adjusted to the new time signature. For example, the bass currently only consists of 2 beats, 1, 2, and I'll set the length to 12 steps and now we have 1, 2, 3 beats. That fits perfectly with the 3-4 time signature. Let's also add something here. For the snare we'll also select 12 steps and for the kick we'll go with 6. Let's hear what it sounds like now. Now let's see what's new in the chords view. Everything looks the same as in Sunlock 3, but there are some important changes in the settings. If I switch between chords that are far apart, there are always very large jumps. For example, if I jump from C major to G major, then C and G are very far apart. And that sounds too jumpy. Sunlock 4 now includes some new settings that allow you to change this. First, let's go to chords view flow settings and select inversion flow. Now when I click on the chord buttons, Sunlock will automatically invert the chords so that the chord is as close as possible to the root note of the scale. In this case, that would be C. This way we get chord progressions that sound much smoother. However, we now have the problem that the bass notes, the lowest notes of the chords, might not be good enough for creating a bass line. So now we go to Settings, Chords View, Bass Settings and select Double Bass Note. Now Sundog adds the bass note of the original chord for us. This way we can create good bass lines. I'm going to create a short chord progression now. I click on Use Chords and let's listen to how it sounds. Now let's look at the new Actions menu. When you click on it, you can see different sections. The most important ones are Create, Transform and Randomize. With Create, you can quickly lay the foundation for a new instrument. For example, I could now select Create Arpeggio, Arpeggio Up. Sundog will then populate the pattern trigger area and the pattern with the basic structure. Here we can then quickly adapt the pattern to our needs. Now it sounds like this. In the pattern area, we also have new features for a faster workflow. Let's switch to the snare. Here I can now move steps around while I drag and drop. This is also new in Sunlock 4. If you hold down the control key, you can quickly and easily create copies of a step. If you right click on the pattern area, you will also see a new menu. Here you can quickly modify the pattern. For example, I can choose Multiply Pattern two times. With these transformations, I can create pattern variations very quickly. Sunlock 4 also contains many new source modes. Let's go to the melody section and as you can see we have a pattern here with many zeros, ones, twos, etc. This is useful for creating melody. Depending on the source mode, this melody will sound different. Let's click on source and as you can see there are many new modes available. 
for example, chord note stands, scale plus chords, etc. If you hover over a button, you can see a short explanation. Here you can see what the different pattern values will play. With chord note stands, all the notes of the chord are stacked on top of the bass note. This allows you to create melodies that sound both harmonious and have only small melodic intervals. This is very good for background melodies. I'll select the source mode. Let's listen to it again. A few more quick tips to finish up. You can now switch between scales by clicking on these arrows over here. If you want to quickly reset an instrument to its default settings, you can click on Reset Instrument here. And with Clear Page, you can even reset an entire page to its original state. That was a first look at Sunlock 4. As you can see, there are many new features and I hope you like it. See you soon in a new video.